machine pistol can fire at a range of 100 meters and it is in the class of the legendary Uzi series of machine pistols made by Israel. You've likely seen them in movies. The prototype has fired over 300 rounds in the last four months of its development. We went to check out this new weapon. The first of its kind made in India machine pistol manufactured. Actually, the design is Lieutenant Colonel Prasad Bansod of the Infantry School Mao. You've designed it and the DRDO uh, and you are making this machine pistol. Explain this machine pistol to us, sir. Uh, this is India's first indigenous attempt at making a machine pistol. It is based on the in-service 9mm ammunition. This, this, has, this product has been conceptualized at the Infantry School Mao and we have made it with the help of ARD Armament Research Development Establishment School. The weapon functions on the in-service 9mm ammunition. It fires from a high capacity 33 round magazine. The magazine can be inserted in the pistol grip. Weapon features a folding buttstock, with which the weapon becomes very compact to carry. The butt can be deployed easily. The weapon features a charging handle, which in this case is fixed onto the left side. However, depending on the tactical situation, the charging handle can also be shifted on the other side of the weapon. The so, weapon for example, if I want to cock this weapon and I use my left hand, um, I will have the cocking handle here. Yes. Alternatively, I just twist this and pull it in. And then fire. Yes. If I'm firing from my left shoulder, all I need to do is turn the weapon this way, and it's still ready to fire. Perfect. Perfect. The weapon 33 has rounds. Uh, 33 rounds means uh, do all the 33 rounds like in an assault rifle fire in one go? Yes. We or... have the we have the change lever of the weapon, as you can see it here. It can be operated with with both the hands. Yes. So now it's on burst fire yes, rounds. It's on safe. On the first press, it goes on the single shot, and the second press, it goes on a full auto mode. In full auto mode, once you press the trigger, keep the trigger pressed, it will fire all 33 rounds in one, in one go. 9mm ammunition. Now, who who will use this? This is not for soldiers at the line of control. This is for soldiers perhaps in counter-terror operations? This has primarily been uh, with, thought of with an intention for uh, soldiers who operate heavy weapons, like medium machine guns, automatic grenade launchers, uh, anti-tank launchers. Uh, a vehicle that is the tank crews, aircraft crews, policing, VIP duties, counter insurgency, counter terrorist operations. This has been intended and uh, made with uh, this intention. Gaurav Savant uh, is with us live. He's uh, had the privilege of going across and checking out this weapon. Uh, Gaurav, a very, very exciting time. A fully indigenous machine pistol. Uh, you know, the machine pistols that we've usually seen are the Israeli Uzis. What did this one feel like? I mean, it's interesting because uh, even though there, it's been a bit of a bumpy road as far as indigenous uh, firearms is concerned, this one has been made by the DRDO in collaboration with its customer, the Indian Army. Shiv, you're spot on. You're spot on about the bumpy ride. Also, the fact that this has been conceptualized by the end user. The Army is the end user. So you have a soldier who actually sat at infantry school Mao interacting with soldiers, trying to find out what were the problems with existing weapons and how we can have a weapon that we want. Where would you want to keep your hand? What kind of comfort would you want for mm. it? What kind of a grip are we looking at? What kind of sights do we want on it? Um, the, you know, the, the touch and feel. It's also extremely light. Uh, 2 kgs is the heavier version, 1.7, the lighter version. The magazine, remember in Insas 5.56, the plastic magazine would crack. Now, this has a steel and composite uh, material magazine, so it won't crack. 9mm ammunition fires quickly, uh, very easy to keep, very easy to fire. But again, this is still a prototype. Yes. Uh, it still remains to be seen what all improvements are required, Shiv, before it's finally inducted into the army, if at all. But the price is... This prototype is about 40 to 50,000 rupees. Mm. So according to the army, much cheaper than what's available from overseas.